Welcome guys to the Russian Grand Prix preview from the circuit that is of course the greatest track in the world. A track that has had fantastic racing ever since 2014. Can you not detect my absolutely cataclysmic sarcasm? I think you guys know exactly what I think of this circuit but anyway we're racing here in Sochi this weekend. And in this preview today I'm going to look at the teams and how they're going to do after last weekend's Singapore Grand Prix. So if you want to find out from me how I think the teams and drivers are going to do this weekend in Russia, then make sure to check out this video. But before we get into the teams and how they're going to do, let's first look at last year's race and a race that was actually probably the best Russian Grand Prix in history. And that tells you everything you need to know about the circuit because it still wasn't that great. First off, of course, we had the controversy at Mercedes where Valtteri Bottas let Lewis Hamilton through, but still, the team got a 1-2 finish. It was also a race where Ferrari fell further behind at the time in the World Championship and Sebastian Vettel was passed brilliantly by Lewis Hamilton just after the first round of pit stops. Also, Red Bull driver Max Verstappen provided one of the best comeback drives we've ever seen from the back of the grid right at one point to the front of the grid. We also saw some great driving by now Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc as at the time of the Sauber he went right round the outside of Haas driver Kevin Magnussen at turn 3 and really showed why he was going to Ferrari at the time. And also Toro Rosso had a very unusual double brake failure on both cars. And that's basically what happened in last year's race. And again, you can kind of see that this circuit just isn't that great if this is the most eventful Russian Grand Prix we've ever had. But when it comes to the history of this track, it is Lewis Hamilton who is the most successful in terms of race victories. And of course, he did win last year's race, even though, of course, he didn't deserve it. But most pole positions at the moment goes to Nico Rosberg who got pole here in 2015 and 2016. When it comes to what team dominates at Sochi, it is absolutely the Mercedes team who have won every single race at this circuit since we started coming here in 2014. And they even have the race lap and outright lap record at this circuit as well. But as we'll get on to now, that might actually be broken their dominance of this circuit this weekend. Because getting on to Mercedes after Singapore, a track where they thought they were going to dominate, they came away with a P4 and P5 and their pace was not that good. Now coming to this circuit, things are not going to be as good for them as we thought it would be compared to Ferrari. Because of course Ferrari have massively improved the new nose cone they have and new rear floor. And given their lacklustre performance in Singapore, I think they are in for quite a tough weekend because especially in the first sector, with how the first sector is and parts of the second sector, those parts of the track are really going to suit Ferrari. And if Mercedes are going to do well in this Grand Prix, they've got to try and have a much bigger advantage in the corners at this circuit than they did in Singapore. Because if it's about the same as it was in Singapore, Ferrari are the favourites to win. And with the way the last three races have gone, you have to say the tide is kind of turning against this team. But their two drivers, despite what the car is doing, are still very good at this circuit. Again, Lewis Hamilton has the most victories here. And also Valtteri Bottas is especially good at this circuit. In fact, this is probably Valtteri's best track on the calendar because... Every time we come here, Valtteri is quicker than Lewis Hamilton. And considering how great Lewis Hamilton is, that's very, very special. So the two drivers, in terms of what they're going to do, will be fine. But the car is kind of in a not-so-good spot right now. And again, that is because, as we now move on to Ferrari, this Team Ferrari, with their new upgrade, have massively improved. And they've really changed the complexion of the battle at the front of the grid. Because if you asked me a month ago coming into this Russian Grand Prix who was going to do well in terms of you know fighting for the race victory, I would have said Mercedes are absolutely the favourites. But if Ferrari could get a one-two finish deservedly around Singapore, then surely at Sochi they're gonna do the same, if not be even more dominant in that fashion. 
And I've got to be honest, especially in qualifying, I think Ferrari are going to be very, very tough to beat because, again, there are certain parts of the track where they are going to be, quite frankly, unbeatable in. And after Singapore, without a doubt, Ferrari are the favourites to get pole, get the front row and win the Russian Grand Prix. And if they go on to do that, then going forward for the rest of 2019, you have to say Ferrari can win even more between now and Abu Dhabi. But all of that leaves Red Bull, the final top team, in quite a tricky position. Because before Ferrari massively improved their aerodynamics, Red Bull, with Max Verstappen at least, were in a position where they could compete for race victories at, say, half the tracks. But because Ferrari have improved, now Red Bull need a lot to go right for them if they're going to even be on the podium. And I have to say, considering Red Bull's record at this track, I don't think Red Bull are in for a particularly good weekend. They've never really had a good result at this circuit, and the drivers are not exactly known for being great here. And it's really going to be a tough ask for Verstappen or Albon to be on the podium because the top two teams, Ferrari and Mercedes, are going to be, I really do think, so much quicker than Red Bull, even in qualifying trim. And because again of Ferrari's improvement, that also means that Max Verstappen's position in the Drivers' Championship is now massively under threat. As we can see right here with the top 10 standings for the Drivers' Championship. So Lewis Hamilton still comfortably in P1. Valtteri Bottas is P2, and then it is a tie at the moment between Leclerc and Verstappen for P3. Sebastian Vettel is just behind in P4, and then Pierre Gasly is P6, Sainz is P7, Albon P8, Ricardo P9, and Daniel Kvyat in P10. By the way, fun fact, everyone from P4 to P10 is either a current or an ex-Toro Rosso driver. Really does show you how great the Red Bull Driver Academy has been. But let's first go into the midfield and go first to Renault who had a messy Singapore Grand Prix and they'll be hoping in Russia that things in terms of the result they actually get can be a lot better than what they got in Singapore. And I think in terms of the pace of the car, I think they'll be fine. I think they'll be about the same as Singapore. They should get both cars into the top 10. And as long as nothing goes wrong like it did in Singapore, I think both Renaults will finish in, say, P9 and P10, P8 or P9 even, and that would be, in my opinion, a good result for Renault. And hopefully they can get that in their battle in the Constructors. McLaren next. McLaren, of course, have extended their lead in P4 in the Constructors, and I think McLaren... At this Grand Prix are going to be absolutely fine. I think at least one of their drivers will be in the top 10. I'm not sure if both drivers will be in the top 10 because, again, like Red Bull, McLaren's history at Sochi is not exactly great. But I think definitely one of their drivers will be right in there in the top 10 and competing very hard to finish at the front of the midfield, most likely Carlos Sainz. But I think McLaren will be good and absolutely fine. It was nice to see, though, Alfa Romeo get a points finish in Singapore of Antonio Giovinazzi, who drove so, so well in Singapore. But they've got to do now the same in Russia. Because I've said this plenty of times, and I'll keep saying it, they can still get better positions in the Constructors' Championship by the end of 2019 if, starting now, they can really start banging in those points finishes. So if they can get one of their cars, say, in the top eight at most, I think that would be a very, very good result for Alfa Romeo. And that would allow Alfa to still be with a fighting chance competing for P5 in the Constructors. But if they fail to score points here, I think Alfa are really going to have a tough time of even climbing higher than their current position, which is P8. So hopefully they have another good weekend without any real big issues for them. Next up is Haas. Singapore was not too bad when it comes to the race. They were actually running in the points for quite a long time. But in the end, it didn't come together for a points finish. Haas, this weekend, are going to be running a hybrid of their older spec of car. So hopefully that does work for them. But as usual with Haas, I don't think we can really expect them to be that good. One team that was good in the race in Singapore, I don't think will actually be that great in Russia, is Toro Rosso. Because 
I just don't think this kind of circuit, and I know I'm probably going to be proven wrong, but in my opinion at the moment of recording this, I just don't think Toro Rosso are going to be that great at this type of circuit. Because this track is kind of similar to Paul Ricard in terms of the way the corners are and in terms of what level of downforce this track requires. And if you remember back to that race, Toro Rosso were not really good at all. So I'm not really expecting that much from Toro Rosso, but hopefully they prove me wrong and go and get some points. Racing points result in Singapore was not too good, but coming to Russia... The pace of the car should be better because historically racing point have always gone better at Sochi compared to Singapore. So I think racing point will be fine, but I don't think they're going to be an absolute guarantee for getting into the top 10. They'll be in there somewhere, but I just don't think they'll be absolutely in, say, P8 or P9 on the grid. But as ever, the midfield is still going to be very close, even if there are some teams or drivers that are not quite performing to spec. And as I was talking about the constructors a bit earlier on, let's now go into the standings going into the Russian Grand Prix. So Mercedes are still clearly top, Ferrari are now clearly in second, Red Bull are third, McLaren clearly in P4, Renault are P5, but Toro Rosso, a position back in sixth, are now starting again to catch Renault, Racing Point to P7, Alfa Romeo P8, and then Haas to P9, and of course, Williams are at the back. Now normally I would talk about where you can pass at this circuit, but this track, when it comes to overtaking, is so bad. Yes, you can pass into Turn 1 and maybe around the outside or down the inside of Turn 3, that very long left-hander, but let's be honest guys, this track is horrifically bad when it comes to overtaking. We even had a race here back in 2017 where after the first lap, we had no recorded overtakes. So there's no real point talking about where you can pass because passing here is nearly impossible unless you're much, much faster than the car ahead. But when it comes to this Grand Prix, what do I think will happen when it comes to the top three in qualifying and the top three in the race? Now, for qualifying, my predictions for that is Charles Leclerc to get pole position because Charles lately in qualifying has been so, so strong. And he really is at one with the Ferrari car at the moment. Sebastian Vettel will be in P2, very close to Charles Leclerc. And then in P3, I am going to go for... Valtteri Bottas and in the race I'm going for the same top three because again overtaking at Sochi is not really a possibility and I do think we're going to have maybe not a boring race but a race that is not that great leading to the same top three for qualifying staying the same for the Grand Prix as well but guys in the comments let me know what do you think will happen at this weekend's Russian Grand Prix who do you think will finish on pole position in qualifying who do you think will win the race and for the teams, what do you think they're going to do? Do you think it'll be good, not so good? Let me know what you think is going to happen and the pecking order and stuff like that. And also don't forget to like this video for more content like this. And also don't forget to subscribe for the Russian Grand Prix content coming up this weekend. Don't forget guys, I will be live at 12.30pm UK time for the Practice 2 watch along for the 2019 Russian Grand Prix. So until then, guys, it has been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.